Hello everybody. Um, going to show you how to make this bag. Just a real simple bag with a boxy bottom. Just one single strap on the side. Okay. And it's like my other bags I showed you. Like here's the one, the zebra. These are a little bit smaller that I made here. So, well, I guess this is about the same size, but a little bit thinner, but I didn't have enough uh, of the pattern thing to make it. But this is about, um, well, you'll see how big it is. But, and here's that one. Or just simple tote bag. What you're going to need for the tote bag is you're going to need your fabric. You're going to need the front piece. The front pieces. You're going to need cut two out of those. Two of the end seams. Doesn't matter what color, but I chose these two. And then if you want, I like to use interfacing. I get the sew-in kind and I use cut two pieces out to match with the inseam. It just makes it more uh, sturdy or stronger or whatever. And then either you can use the, the whatever fabric you need to make um, a, a handle for it. So, so you need that. You're going to need some really good scissors sewing scissors to cut your fabric. If you have a cutting table or something, I don't. And I'll show you what I use to make my pattern. Okay. And you're going to need a ruler of some kind. This kind I have. You're going to need thread and bobbin thread, of course. So, just pick whatever matches or you can even do colors that don't match and it'll um you can do designs with it and you need some fabric pens or markers or pencils whatever that are washable and you need I need some um of these um pens to hold your fabric in place. Okay. And that's about it. And you need a sewing machine right here. I have a brother and it's sewing and embroidery. Just in case you're wondering. And you could do it by hand, but that'll take forever. Okay. This is what you need. Now I'm going to show you how I made the pattern for the tote bag. When I went to the store, I picked up um, one of these boards, like cardboard or I don't know what you'd call them, but they're kind of thick board. And what I do when I make patterns is probably not the way you're supposed to do it, but I would just figure out how big I wanted it and I would measure it out so I'm kind of more, more so you, okay so I made this one this size because I didn't have very much of this board left so on here I measured out a just like a rectangle to, this is 16 inches that way, and then it's 12 inches that way, so 16, 12, and then to make the bottom, to make that square bottom to the bag, you don't have to, but I like to, so when you want that square, you're going to measure 2 inches in, right here is 2 inches. Okay, and then you measure, you do that on the other side as well. Okay. So 
you do, this is the bottom of the bag. You do two inches in, two inches in, and then two inches down, two inches down, and then you connect them. Okay, so now this bottom part is eight inches. So. And that's what you need. Just so this matches nice, I'm going to turn this, I turn this over to the other side and I'm going to line this the one I cut on top and I'm going to pin around it to hold it in place and then I'm just going to cut around it. out I have two of the insides or the I can't think of what it's called now and then two of the outside and then two of the inner facing as you can see I uh, wanted to show you that you do not pin sew the top of it I might have said that like I said, you sew this side. I pinned it. I pinned the sides together. Okay, I just wanted to show you quick. You can see that. Okay, and I'm going to start sewing in a second. So I'm going to show you real quick that the seam allowance is one fourth inch, and it's right there. This is the front of the sewing machine. And the one fourth is right there you can see it's right here okay, I usually back stitch I usually back stitch at the bottom too. Do the same thing. So you're gonna go ahead and um, trim all your little pieces off if you want to. I usually do. And okay, now you're gonna want to turn them right side out or inside out right side of the door and make sure that you sewed everything properly there's no holes or anything you're going to flatten your nail I'm going to take this lay it down you're going to hold the fabric on each side so it would be interface plus the liner so it's open like that and you're gonna pull it so these two match so it's closed you're gonna pick one side right here okay so you're gonna pick one side up and the other side and then you're going to pull it so it makes and you're gonna line up this seam with this seam with the side seam and you're going to line that up in the middle and you're going to take a pin 
going to pin it. I'm going to pin it shut. Oh, this part right here. I'm going to do it on the side. But, okay. It should look like that. And you're going to leave one side open on the liner because that's where we're going to pull the um, bag inside out. And then once we're done, we'll close that at the end. But you're going to sew your one fourth down okay right down there and that's it okay i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll be back on side on the right side okay see how it looks like a square though squared at the bottom poke through here now we have the boxy shape now we have the boxy shape bottom. Probably see it better on this one. Okay, see how that's like a boxy shape? Except I don't have that, that one yet done yet. Okay, so this is going to be quite long. <laughs> I should have made it so long. So well, it'll work, right? Okay, you're going to cut for the strap, you're going to cut 26 inch in length. So we got 26 right there. And then four inches wide. Okay. That's four inches. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lay it on top of the interface. Turn it around like that. So I'm gonna get your pins. Get ready. You're going to fold it over. You're gonna fold that over. So with the one fourth and seam allowance all the way down. Okay, and it should look like this when you are done. Okay. And once you fold it over and sew down that side, you will also turn it around and sew on the other side. If you want to. Sometimes I don't, but it just depends, okay? Cut. I usually go extremely slow for the strap, but you can go ahead and do the one fourth seam. But it's more strap done. And as you can see, make sure that you have a. I would make sure that it's all sewn. Good. Looks like it is. Nothing popping out. Okay. And just go ahead and trim off the ends. Okay. 
I did not like the size of this. It was really long, so I uh, cut it down or I folded it over to make it shorter. So, like I said, you can play around with your patterns, whatever you like. So, first thing you're gonna do, you like to take the pattern, your pad outside of your purse. You're gonna turn it right side to the right sides out. Okay, like that. Okay, like that. You're gonna take your strap right here and you're gonna find the crease on the side. And you're going to lay your um, strap so it's that um, crease is in the middle of the strap. Okay, so it's kind of even on both sides. You take your pin. You're gonna pin it in place. Okay. And you're gonna wrap. You're going to okay, it's in place like that. And you're going to wrap it around to make sure it's flat. And to the other side. Okay. So it kind of goes under it. You're going to do the same thing, go like that, okay, make sure it doesn't move, if you want you can put a couple pins on Okay, there. then you're going to take your um, liner and you're going to turn it inside out like this, and don't ignore this as I just folded that over to make this shorter, but you're just going to go ahead and take your purse that's right side out and stick it inside so right sides are uh, facing each other okay see that get that in there and you're going to line up like um you're going to line up the seams now if you can hold this take these out of one side and hold it really tight. The strap and line it up. Just because if you don't take them out, the um, you don't take it out, you might poke yourself when you turn this inside out. Okay, so just go ahead and pin it. Might be a little tricky, but. So there you go. Pin that. Then you can go ahead and do the other side the same way. And then you just go, you pin all the way around. And then I'll be back. If you can see this, I pinned it all the way around. You're just going to sew one fourth inch seam allowance all the way around and then I'll be back okay this is the best part of turning it inside out because you're almost done so you to take a gusset part where it's open and put your hand in you're gonna pull out very carefully try not to rip anything into the gusset and make sure to pop the corners out. match the this uh, seam with this seam like we did before so pull it but this time you're gonna tuck it under one side under 
And then the other side too. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. And the seams will match. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm gonna pin this and show you. And then you're just gonna sew. across and you want the seam to be of the same allowance. Make sure that it's straight across. You might want to pin it. Okay, now you will see that sewing line, but if you get a one to match the color, it won't be very noticeable. Plus, it's on the inside, so that's okay. So, just push it back through like I said and you can also put pockets and stuff or play around with it too like I have been oh and you can also if you want go ahead and iron this down nice and flat and then sew around the edge again go down and it, it makes it stay better and uh, it also looks better I think anyway thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later bye you can make and then I'm going to provide the um the video that I learned how to make these. They have like pleats in them and they have like a rim and they have two pockets instead of one. Okay. And I made this out of a t-shirt and it's the same thing like that. And I want to make this with a zipper because I love this pattern. It's kind of gaudy, but this one I braided. So I might. I like to try to make my own design sometimes. Play with it, and then this one's reversible one that I just found, and I made a pocket right here. I can't see it, but it has a uh, musical notes on it. I really like music. And the inside I just had extra of this of fabric and you can also make it reversible too if you wanted to. I thought this would be cool to put like you could put brushes in it or something. Something like that. But yeah. Anyway.